Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in New York and with me I've got the beautiful Amanda Thank Serrano. You. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Good. Well, listen, Lou de Bella made a passionate speech out there about women's yes. boxing and all that. <laughs> you mentioned that you chose Heather Hardy because you knew she went back down. Are you expecting a tough fight against Heather Hardy? Uh, definitely. I mean, as Heather is as tough as they come and um, that's why she's a true champion, that's why she's a champion today and that's why we fight in September 13th because I knew um, she wouldn't back down on a fight. I mean, just like me, she went to MMA and she continued, uh, no matter what happened there, she continued to take up the sport and, and it's it's going to be a good night. Definitely, I'm looking forward to it myself. Mm -hmm. You're fighting for her world title, you're already a seven weight world champion. I mean, what does this title do for your career going forward? Are you hoping to maybe unify the division or maybe go for an eight time world, eight, eight um, division world champion? Well, eight, eight, I mean, eight is, it's not, no, I'm content with seven divisions right now. Um, eight divisions, no. <laughs> but uh, maybe in the future, um, maybe unifying in that division or, you know, it just depends what my team, uh, what they put in front of me. Are you, do you echo what Heather says about the quality in women's boxing compared to men about the pay gap and stuff like that? Are yeah, you want to see? I mean, of course, it's, it's day and night, but I mean, I don't think we're ever going to see the, the anywhere near the men, but at least we can get paid what we worth, what we deserve. When it comes to women's boxing, I mean, it's clear that Clarissa Shields and maybe Katie Taylor, they're at the, the top, so to speak. They always get talked about women's boxing. Do you think? All going well on Friday night against Heather Hardy. Your name will be up there with the Clarissa Shields. It, it should already be up there, normally I mean, done in the sport. I, but a lot of people, especially in the UK, might not know who you I are. I mean, I thought my name was up there with those girls. Yeah. I mean, their their names are up there because they're the Olympians. They they won gold. And um, I mean, I will hope I will be up there. I'm a seventh division world champion. I, I I've accomplished a lot in the sport of in boxing as well. So I mean, it's I guess it's just conquering one place at a time. Is the end of this fight? Do you think this fight could have headlined you against Heather Hardy? I think it could have. I think yeah. it's so. If it wasn't for the, for us, the the place would have been empty. But uh, I think this this um, fight sold itself. Definitely. Guaranteed. Definitely. Well, there was a there's a special belt on the line. I think I don't know if it's Luda Bella mentioned the Queen of Brooklyn belt. Is that a real thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it was sponsored by um, Madison Square Garden, so we're fighting for the the Queen of Brooklyn. So what does that mean yeah. to you? Then is that more? Would that be more to you than the world champions? Oh no, <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing better than winning the WBO t <laughs> title. Um, world champ being a world champion is, is always a good thing. But um, that that just shows that. Uh, Whoever wins the belt, it's Queen of Brooklyn. <laughs> that would be good. Queen of New York. Yeah, it could be too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the, the, well, last question. I mean, I know you've got a busy media day ahead of you, but for the fans back in the UK and the fans in the US, what can they expect on Friday night from you, yourself? They can expect fireworks like every fight I go out there, bombs going, and it's going to be a great fight of uh, female boxing, and I hope I can gain some fans in the UK too. You certainly will. Well, I had to say last question, but I've got to say, I'll be following you on Instagram. You're constantly training. Do you yeah, ever take yeah. these off? No, I mean, my, my trainer doesn't allow me to. He's like, you're, you're like a trainer there? No, like, he's, got big, he's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> no, listen, man. I mean, see what what, what, what it is with, with fighters. Um, There's a small window of opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If if you don't take advantage of it, someone creeps up. You know what I'm saying? There's always someone coming up. And I always tell fighters, you know what I'm saying, for as long as you're going to do it, stay focused, stay in the gym. Of course, you don't want to overtrain. So what we do is we switch things around. You know, when we're not ready for we're not getting into a fight, we don't spar. We do weight training, strength training. We continue to run. But we're always doing something because, like I said, if you don't do it, you get rusty, somebody creeps up and changes hands. Definitely, well said. Well, I'm looking forward to Friday night, yes. especially your fight, yes. mate. You actually you. steal the show, so. <laughs> of course, we always Pleasure do. meeting you, and I look forward to Friday. Thanks thank very much, you, Amanda. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Amanda. Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls.